Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. This is going to be fifth lesson of this Prometheus tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to continue learning how to send an email alert uh, whenever one of the node goes down. So if you have not watched my previous video, please watch that video because this is just a subsequent part of that video. If you don't understand that video well, in that case, it is just uh, not going to be easy for you to understand this video. So please go ahead and watch the previous video and then come here again. So in previous lesson, I have shown you how we have set up alerts in Prometheus and we created the alerting rule that if any of the server goes down, we wanted to an alert to be triggered and we haven't really installed alert manager so far. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install alert manager and how to uh, send an email alert. So, so far you have seen that we can see uh, an alert here, which is saying server is down. And right now we do not have any server which is down. That's why we see everything is showing as inactive. Uh, now, as soon as one of the server goes down, we are going to see that alert is going to be moving to pending state. And if the server remains down for more than one minute, in that case, you are going to see that state is going to be changing to firing state. So that's what we have learned in previous video. Now let's go ahead and start configuring email alerts by using Prometheus Alert Manager. So just a quick introduction of the you know, complete step which we need to do in order to send an email alert is that first we need to set up and configure Alert Manager. So Alert Manager is a separate component which, is, uh, which you can download from this website. Uh, here is the alert manager and you can install alert manager either on the same server where you have installed uh, Prometheus or you may install uh, alert manager on a separate server as well. Okay, so once you install alert manager and you configure alert manager, after that you need to tell Prometheus uh, where you have installed alert manager. Okay, so basically you are going to go to a Prometheus configuration file and there you are going to tell where is your alert manager located. So once you do those two things, uh, you, uh, your Prometheus server and alert manager is completely connected and then you can start creating all the alerting rules which is going to uh, get fired uh, once the condition meets and which is going to result in a triggering of the alerts in alert manager. Okay, so that's how everything is going to work. Now, uh, I have already downloaded this alert manager so I'm just going to go to this server. This is the same server where I have, where I have installed Prometheus on lesson number one. So uh, just go ahead and watch uh, previous videos as well, which is just going to give you more clarity. But if you already have been following all the previous tutorials, so this is the server where we installed Prometheus and now we have downloaded Alert Manager. So I have downloaded Alert Manager and extracted Alert Manager. So that's why I see uh, Alert Manager folder here. So I'm going to move to Alert Manager uh, folder and then we can do ls and here you can see we have alert manager alert manager is a utility and there is also a configuration file which is called alert manager.yml now let's open this uh, alert manager.yml file now by default you can see this alert manager.yml file is having some sort of configuration okay so all you need to know here is that uh, root you can leave the root as it is uh, and in the root you see the receiver has been configured Okay, so there are many receivers which you can configure. So receiver is basically uh, a kind of alert which you want to configure. Okay, so there can be webhook alerts, there can be email alerts, and there can be uh, several other types of alerts as well. So all this information you are going to uh, get from uh, Prometheus configuration uh, documentation, alert manager configuration documentation. So once you go to this documentation, you can just scroll down and then you can go to receiver section here you can see receiver and under the receiver you can see we have several types of receivers available so in this lesson we are going to configure email config okay so that's the receiver which we are going to use and i'm just going to go back to alert manager server and now you can see this is the configuration file this is the default one which is available i'm just going to create a new file i'm not going to change this file and I have already created a new configuration file so you can also go ahead and create a new configuration file or if you want to modify the existing one you can do that as well but in my case I have just created a new configuration file which is called email.yml and let's open this file and in this file you can see this is the settings which I have set okay so the only thing which I changed from here uh, to here is uh, one thing you can see receiver name previously it was webhook so I created a new configuration file where I changed the receiver name to send underscore email it can be any logical name uh, you just need to make sure this name matches with the name which you have given under receiver so I'm telling receiver is going to be send email 
and here also I'm telling that my receiver is going to be send email and this is going to be the configuration of that receiver. So here the important thing is uh, that you need to use email underscore configs and you can see this here as well in this documentation you can see that uh, we are using email underscore configs stanza and then under this we need to use all the all the settings which have been given here okay so we need to use two field where we are going to specify where we want to send an email alert to and then we have from field where we need to specify from which email account the email is going to be uh, sent to and then we have some other settings which is like SMTP authorization username and password okay so from your organization or from your project uh, whichever project you are working on you are going to receive all of these SMTP details from uh, the project and you need to put all of these details here now notice one thing here uh, since I'm using hostinger so I have put uh, hostinger SMTP details here in your case uh, it is going to be different and also in my case from email id is uh, email at the rate itpanther.com and 2e is prometheus underscore demo at mailinator.com and similarly i have given username and password here as well uh, i'm showing you password here because i'm just going to change the password afterwards once i complete this uh, tutorial so if you are uh, just make sure whatever password you give here that is confidential and you do not share with anyone okay so after that uh, there is inhibit rules we are going to discuss about inhibit rules and several other things but that is going to be in the next part of uh, the tutorial in this one we are just going to set up this configuration which is which i am showing you right now on the screen and now we are going to start alert manager con uh, alert manager okay now just a moment let's let me go uh, go here back on this documentation and here you can see there is already a syntax given on how you can start the configuration how you can start alert manager and you can pass the configuration file so by default here you can see in this command line they are passing alert manager.yml uh, configuration file which is the default one but in my case i have created a new configuration file and i'm going to use uh, that one so here i'm going to use that uh, i'm going to start uh, alert manager by using this uh, configuration file which is going to be called uh, email.yml okay and hit enter and then it is going to start okay so i'm just going to open one more instance of the same server and then i'm going to show you what is the changes now we need to make in uh, prometheus.configuration file okay so i'm just going to go back to documentation again just to quickly show you uh, that we were here and we have set up and configured alert manager now we need to configure prometheus to talk to the alert manager so i'm going to go to this uh, I'm going to go to this Prometheus server again and let's do ls and we need to go to Prometheus and here I'm going to open Prometheus.yml and now here by default you will notice that uh, this alerting uh, in the alerting this target is going to be disabled so here you just uh, if you see hash uh, prefixed here you can just uh, remove that hash and then you can uh, give the IP address or the host name of uh, wherever you have installed uh, alert manager so in this case I am giving local host because I have installed uh, and we have installed alert manager and alert manager is running on the same server okay so if you are running it on a different server you can give the IP address or the host name of that server and by default alert manager port is 9093 so that is what I have given here okay so we are going to just save it and once you make changes in this prometheus configuration file make sure you always restart prometheus services i have already restarted it so i do not need to do it again now let's go ahead and we are going to uh, we are good now we have already set up uh, prometheus uh, we have already set up alert manager and we have also configured prometheus to talk to alert manager and we have also created alerting rules which was created in previous lesson and that's the reason we can see here that uh, it is we can see this alerting rule here which is called server is down okay so now I'm going to uh, shut down one of the node exporter and that's when we are going to see that it is going to show us that uh, one of the node is going to pending state and then it is going to change to firing state so let me just shut down services on one of the node so here we have node exporter running so I'm just going to stop node exporter services and we are going to see here that alert is going to be changing to pending state okay and this is the mailinator mailbox which i have and this was just the older alert so i'm just going to remove this one we don't need this one 
uh, we we are going to wait for the new alert which is going which we are going to receive pretty soon okay so let's go back to prometheus and let's refresh this page and shortly as you can see right now we have one alert which has been uh, which is being shown here in the pending state so one of the node has gone down which is 10.128.0.3 so uh, it is going to wait in this state for one minute and if uh, this server remains down for one minute in that case it is going to be changing from pending to firing state and once it changes to firing state that is when we are going to receive the email alert here okay so uh, i'm just going to pause this video for a moment and once this changes to firing mode i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna resume the video Okay, so right now you can see we have now uh, alert being shown here in the firing state. So we should be receiving an email alert pretty soon. So here you can see we have already received an email alert which is telling that server is down. So that's all in this video. See you again in the next video.